Ashley McKenna, 3525, supposedly heard, come on, Joey, from the science hallway. Now, let's see if that's related to the actual shooters. And does anybody call Joe Stare Joey? Because if not, then that's not really great evidence. And McKenna is not 3525. She's 2042 to 2047. But let's see what she says. Looks like she wrote this pretty quickly. Today at Columbine High School in Miss Williams' fifth hour biology, a lot of people started running up the stairs screaming. Then I heard gunshots. Then I ran into a little greenhouse room next to our room. We heard gunshots a lot after that. One guy screamed that he wanted to die. I never saw anybody. Then the SWAT guys came and took us all out. I wasn't hurt. This is dated 3.10 p.m., this statement, on April 20th, 99. On 5.25.99 in this interview, approximately 5 to 10 minutes after getting into the greenhouse room, McKenna heard boy voices in the main hallway. One of the boy voices yelled he wanted to die. She was hearing lots of yelling by the boy voices. The statement may have been, I want to die today. Approximately 5 to 10 minutes later, she heard one of the same boy voices yelling redacted. The statement with the name redacted was made referencing him to come to them or to go. The next thing she heard was that she thought were faint gunshots coming from an area near the front main office. The individuals did go by the door to the greenhouse room several times. McKenna could tell by the noises they were making. She could not recall the specific noises. She did hear them run up and down the stairs to the cafeteria two or three times. Approximately 30 minutes later, she heard an adult male voice state, put your weapon down. The voice was faint and was not outside the green room in the hallway. McKenna could not give a direction for the comment. Curious, curious. Why would Eric or Dylan tell each other to put your weapon down? I don't know, that's weird. But these are not boy voices, so this is an adult male voice, so clearly different than the boy voices she reported earlier. The gunshots then stopped for approximately one hour. She then heard what she thought were more gunshots and the same boy voices outside in the hallway. She could hear running and yelling in the hallway. McKenna thought the voices and sounds she was hearing may also have been the police SWAT officers moving in the school. At approximately 2.45 p.m., SWAT officers entered the greenhouse room and began letting them out through the door in the hallway. Okay. So I don't know why some people are saying she heard Joey. I'm guessing this is in combination with other statements where Joey was not redacted. Most of this has been pretty accurate thus far, so...